the lord gives you and to me the second miracle through forgiveness what is that physical healings and emotional healings physical healing and emotional healing that will take place once a lady came for a counseling she is an indian but settled abroad she had unforgiveness towards her husband when she came here in logos retreat center she was mentally sick she was mentally sick because of her hatred unforgiveness frustration and revenge towards her husband then she was suggested to have a mental hospital treatment in india because the government asked her to do so because her husband filed divorce case then she just defended it then the doctor said and the legal system said first you be treated then we will take your case favorable she came here actually she was not suffering from mental disease and she came for counseling then she told me the full story what happened in her life she was a medical personnel she married a man and first she went alone in the middle east she worked there and supported the family meanwhile she has two children husband and children at home and the husband is not at all working in any place but getting all the money and spending for himself and spending it with his friends and also started drinking then she got a chance to migrate one of the western countries and she settled well there husband also joined children also joined there also he was not at all interest showing any interest in working but instead getting the salary and spending time with the friends and drinking now he asked all other people who do not have jobs like him and not interested in job but spending time in in laziness he started drinking along with them then he took children along with him and criticized the wife it is because of you only i am drinking that is not true he is not interested in working but only interested in lazy life she was half broken then she could not concentrate in her work she made two three mistakes in her work there she got a punishment that was a shock so the department told her you are mentally sick husband took advantage of it he filed a divorce case that was too much for her she was totally broken she came to logos retreat center like a mental patient i told him are you able to forgive your husband as jesus forgiven to his enemies and said father they do not know what they are doing it forgive them are you able to pray like that father god forgive my husband he doesn't know what is doing he is in the bondage of devil he is under the strong hold of the devil he is a man who has laziness one of the cardinal sins and also he has a spirit of substance abuse i told her your husband is under the grip of satan and he doesn't know what he is doing are you able to set him free by the grace of god when she was hearing the word of god as you and i are hearing the word of god and looking to jesus during the inner healing session she got a courage i am ready to forgive and set my husband free from the spirit of spirit of laziness and spirit of softness abuse and spirit of hatred 
she learned how to pray the binding and casting out prayer from this prayer book page number 103 i bind and cast out the spirit of jealousy spirit of substance abuse spirit of laziness spirit of divorce from my husband i send them to the feet of jesus boldly she prayed suddenly her face was changed she became very bright hopeful her mental sickness was healed she became very normal the spirit of sorrows left her body praise, praise, praise the lord praise, praise the lord because she has forgiven when we you and i forgive some kind of spirit leaving us spirit of depression spirit of mental disease and spirit of physical ailments spirit of mental ailments and spirit of infirmities leaving us then she requested me i want to stay here one more week for one more retreat she attended one more retreat re-registered the third day of the second retreat a man came to logos retreat center that was her husband he apologized because when she forgiven and bind and cast out the devil that devil left him he became a normal person he got repentance and uh, he took the flight and came here and reconciled now both of them are living in united states with a joyful heart with the two children now he has no spirit of laziness no the spirit of substance abuse he is also taken up a job according to his education praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah your forgiveness will change somebody's life we pray that the lord may give you this wonderful grace to forgive and take legal actions if it is needed without hatred prophecy of ezekiel chapter 3:19 says if you don't take legal actions and warn your brother or sister about their wrongness that person will go to hell you will be responsible for that 